wasn't expecting that. Oh, that's really nice. I actually thought that that little bit peeking out of the soil was a coin. Um, I'm very wrong. That's nice. That's got some really lovely detail on it. It's got lovely um, decoration on the end, on the left-hand end there, and the two central bars where the um, the pin would have pivoted. That's very nice. I quite like that. I like a buckle. I've got a bit of a thing about buckles, so I'm pleased with that. I just dropped this about five times. Can you see? We have got a hammered coin. Prise that off, chuck that away, have a little look see, and we've got a voided long cross, and I can definitely see, can I definitely see anything? I've got to say, here, I can see L O N telling me London. And this side, I can see very little actually. But we'll pop that in the pocket. I might put some stills up for you. Shame this is broken. Um, this is a, well, well, this was a clasp that held a book shut. Um, so it would have come out a much longer, it's quite a wide one actually, it's quite big. So I've got a little hook just here on the underside, just caked in mud, but I'll clean that up and show you. And then we've got a bit of decoration, which again is, we've lost the main bit of decoration as it's been snapped off. But this is a book class, it probably dates like the 1700s, 1800s, um, and it would have held a bookshelf. I've, the detecting gods are on my side today. I've just got another bit of a hammered coin. It's broken. In fact, quite a large amount is missing off that side there. Ah, it's another one. These soil conditions are really testing me today. Look at this. Rough, ploughed, lumpy, bumpy. It's hard to actually show you just how rough this is, um, short of you actually walking on it. I call it ankle breaking, but the fines are being kind, so I don't mind so much. I am going to actually, I'm going to do another 10 minutes on this. And then just over there, over that hedgerow near that little tree, if I jump over that ditch, the farmer has another field, which is currently just sitting there as um, stubble. So once my ankles give way, I'm going to go in that. But this field. So I've just got another hammered coin. Um, this is also an Edward. This is, um, it's called a paper clip. Is it a paper clip? Yeah, a paper clip mend, a pot mend. Um, so a lot of pot mends were made of lead. Um, lead's so easy to manipulate and melt. Um, and so normally, like if you had a vessel, a pot for like storing, I don't know, grains or salt or whatever, and you had a little crack in it, rather than throw the whole pot away, you would pour lead, runny lead, into the crack and it would harden and then you'd mend your pot. So that's that's the uh, common way of mending your pots back in the day. This is called a paperclip pot mend um, and obviously it's not made of lead. I think it's a copper alloy. I'm not entirely sure how these actually worked. I will do a little bit of research and try and find out if I can explain it better. But I do know that this was a method to fix broken pots. 
Um, so we'll put that in the bag. I think they date medieval. While I'm here, I've just spotted something on the floor. Oh, I don't know if that is a clay pipe. Oh, no, it's not. It's a stone. God, it tricked me. Right. Stop for a cup of coffee. I'm going to do a little summary of what I've dug so far. Um, I haven't done much filming today, actually, because I've been struggling. The ground conditions are a bit rough to say the least. I'll show you as I'm talking exactly how rough these ground conditions are while I'm unloading my um, finds pouch. There's only a certain amount of abuse my ankles and hips can take walking on this kind of ground. Right, come on. Bear with me. I'm using my wrong hand. Let me just get my right hand in there. Right, so let's get that in the sun have a look at what we've done so far so we've got a silver disc I'm not sure if that's a coin we have that book clasp which I am um, I found just before I stopped for lunch then we've got a thimble which is nice okay I've not emptied all my finds out because I can see oh no it is there so I've got a thimble I've got that buckle I showed you I did film that one coming out where are we there's the buckle. I've got a nail. I quite like nails. And then we've got a hammered coin, a hammered coin, a hammered coin, and another hammered coin. So we've got four, four silver coins. Put them all there on the buckle. Then we've got a Roman. One, two, three. Four, excuse me, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, that's a lie, that's a button. We've got um, eight Roman coins. So that's not bad. Eight Romans and four silver hammers. That's 12 coins. Then we've got a button. A button, a button, a bit of a strap end. Oh no, that's um, that's a paper clip, a paper clip um, pot mend. Then this, I didn't film this coming up actually. This looks very much to me like a finial of a rather large um, Roman brooch, like a cruciform brooch. Um, the reason I'm thinking that is I'll, I'll put a picture up now. Um, what you're looking at now is a, a, I'll put this to the side here. What you're looking at on that photo there is a large uh, cruciform brooch I found about 10 years ago in Croatia. And if you can look at the finial, look at the shape of this, and then look at the shape of the picture that's now sitting to the right, and you can see why I'm thinking that. This is also still has, the one I've just found, has traces of a, um, a gold gilt on it. So I'm thinking this was once part of a large cruciform room. I'm almost convinced that that was part of a brooch. I wonder if the rest of it is down there. So that's all my before session. This is the morning session. So I'm going to have another coffee. And then uh, I'm going to try and get back on that soil. It's a bit rough. And I'll see what the well, afternoon brings. Just finished the coffee. Um, so we're going to start for the afternoon session. I just want to try and show you how rough um, a ploughed field can be. It's really hard to show depth and gauge on, on a flat screen. So I'm going to put my foot down a hole um, and then I'm going to show you where my, the top of my ooh, leg. So from my foot up past my ankle up to here is the depth of some of the holes that we're walking in. And to be honest, it hurts. It just, it makes my legs hurt, it makes my ankles hurt, and my hips hurt. So I've decided for the rest of the session, I'm gonna come across here. It all belongs to the same farmer, so it doesn't matter. I've seen him this morning and he's cool with me going on here. So now I have, let me just get my gear. So um, this is 
my option for the afternoon. Which is nice and flat. And we're on a stubble field. I'm pleased I am um, hopped over the the uh, hedge. Because I've just got myself a quarter cut hammered coin. I would have struggled to have found that on the um that uh, rough plough next door. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased now. I hopped it over the hedge and come into here because I, I doubt I possibly would have found that in those kind of conditions. So that's good. doesn't seem to be much missing. I'll put some stills up. We'll pop that in the good pocket and carry on. What a smashing day. What a cracking day. So I've just now got a very small uh, Nuremberg Jetton by the looks of it. Might be one of the Rose Orb style of Jettons. That might need to dry out on the windowsill at home. I can't believe what a lovely day I'm having. Look at this, look. How nice. And now this. I've no idea what the time is. I don't know where my other half is. I haven't seen him for about two hours. Um, I'm just having fun. It's really nice. So we're still, we're still wedged in the soil here. A very thin layer of metal, so it's looking very much like a hammered coin. Lovely little imprint in the soil. And it is a hammered coin. I think I can see an E and a W just there. So that's telling me Edward. And on the other side, we can see a long cross and it's not voided. So it's a solid line from top to bottom, left to right. Um, and so that's a long cross hammered coin. So I know it's there, but I don't know what it is yet. So let's unwrap it together. Is it going to be anything nice? Ooh. Ooh, what is that? What is that? Okay, I don't know what that is. It's pretty. Let's poke that with a bit of pokey stuff. Let's just give that a bit of a poke. Okay. Oh, what is that? I haven't got a clue. It's modern. So it's like pressed metal. So it's not old. But... It's quite nice. Look at the day. What a lovely day. It's so nice. Um... I've no idea what this is. I'll put it in my pocket. I quite like it. It's pretty. I 
Oh, this mud is really claggy down this end of the field. That's looking really pretty. Come on. Okay. This might, oh, this might have to be dried out on the way home and we'll have a look at that. I'll wait till I get in, but I'm liking the looks of this. Looks like a buckle of some form. Still with the pin at Just got back home. This is the day's finds. Make a little pile of buttons in here. A thimble, buckle, buckle. Not sure. Actually, looks a little bit like a Saxon cheek piece with that shape, um, but I'm not sure. Uh, that's a really nice pin from a big buckle. Then we've got a jetton. A hammered, hammered coin, hammered coin, quarter cut hammered coin, a hammered coin, a hammered coin, and then another one, and then another one, and then got a Roman, Roman, Roman uh, button. A Roman, 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 and another. Take a plea, please, Bob. Another. Um. Oh, another buckle there. So, summary: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight hundred coins. Two, four, six. Two, four, six, seven Roman coins. Is that a button? No, seven Roman coins. A few buttons, a nice buckle, which we're going to have a look at in a minute, um, and a thimble, and a little decorative piece. Um, oh, and a bit of Roman brooch. Oh, and a book clasp. Broken book clasp. <laughs> 